Hail and well met. This is Redbot and I'm going to show you Kiss Assist, the famous all-class combat macro known for its configurability. It lets you strategize for different encounters. First, we'll do a manual setup and later in this video, I'll show you a quick and lazy setup. Let's get it. To give you a basic understanding of Kiss Assist, let's set up a very simple Cleric and Warrior level one team. If you've watched our previous videos, you know how to issue commands to all characters without switching windows. But today I'm going to type everything in each window like a newbie. So on each character, type slash Mac space Kiss Assist. Don't worry if you get a beep and an error about targets. That's not important right now. Wait a few minutes for the script to run and then type slash end on each character. This will end the macro. By starting and ending Kiss Assist, it created an INI file in our config folder. And now we're going to go edit it. Right click on the Mac request icon, select open folder, and then config. Scroll down until you see Kiss Assist underscore your character's name. In this case, it's Kiss Assist Borger. Right click and open with notepad. This may look intimidating, but in 30 seconds, you'll understand it as well as anyone. First off, scroll down to the buff section and you'll see it right here. It's buffs in brackets where it says buffs on equals zero. I'm going to change that to a one. And that's basically telling Kiss Assist that we want to use buffs, but we have to tell it what buff to use. So where it says buffs one equals null, I'm going to change this null to courage. That's the name of a level one cleric's buff spell. Next, let's scroll down to melee. And right here it says melee on equals zero. That's saying the cleric should not melee. Uh, that's usually good, but it's level one, so I'm gonna make him melee. Now go down to heals. Important for a cleric. Where it says heals on equals zero, let's change that to a one. That means the cleric will heal, but now it needs to know what healing spell. And a level one cleric only has one, so I'm gonna delete where it says null and change this to minor healing. That's the level one cleric healing spell, but I don't want him to cast it all the time. So I'm going to put a vertical bar and the number 70 at the end. This means the cleric won't cast healing on anyone in the group until they're below 70% health. So now click save, hit control S or go to file save, close this and we're done. Uh, I'm going to play the warrior manually, so I don't need to edit her INI file. So let's try out the cleric in game. First step is to make sure you have both characters in a group. And we do. Now on the cleric, I'm going to target the warrior. Whoever you have targeted when starting kiss assist is who it will be assisting. And you almost always want that to be your tank. So now with the tank targeted, type slash Mac space Kiss Assist. Some text will fly by in the MQ2 window and the cleric has started buffing, so we know it worked. Okay, so I plan to run around on my warrior and I want my cleric to follow me. So on the cleric, I'm going to go here and type slash chase space on. Let's see. Great. Now Borger is going to follow me around. That's perfect. So let's go hunt. There's a big old skunk. I'm going to attack that. I'm taking some damage here. I'm down to 85, not quite in healing range yet. Oh great, there's Borger. Borger is helping me out. What a handy fellow. Now I'm down to 60%, so Borger should start healing me. Perfect. That is great. And let's take out this tough old crag chick. There's Borger getting in the fight. He's a scrappy cleric. Got him. Okay, well I feel very accomplished. Borger and I are both level two now. I'm feeling pretty good, so 
let's stop here and now let's go check out a group of level 25s. Level 25s have a lot more spells and options than our level 1s, so it's going to take a while to add them all manually. This is why we made the Kiss Assist INI library. Members contribute INIs they've already made, so lazy people like us can use them. I have a Shadow Knight, Cleric, Enchanter, Rogue, Mage, and Druid. They're all level 25 at the moment, and I'm going to start with my Shadow Knight. Her name is Bromwen, so I'm going to go to Bromwen and type slash Mac Kiss Assist. I'm going to let that run for a second. Now I'm going to hit slash end. Starting and stopping Kiss Assist created an INI file in our config folder. So let's go edit it. Right click on the Mac request icon, select open folder, and then config. Scroll down until you see Kiss Assist underscore your character's name. In this case, it's Kiss Assist Bromwen. Right click the file and open with notepad. So instead of filling this out all manually, what I'm going to do is Go to the Kiss Assist INI library on redguides.com. There's a link to it in the description. I'm going to choose class Shadow Knight. And level, let's do a range. Let's do from 20 to 30, and we'll see what's available. And okay, so we have three options here. I'm going to go with Almar's 25 Shadow Knight. And on this screen, here's the INI file. So I'm just going to click copy right here, copying that to the clipboard. Now I'm going to go back to the INI on my computer. I'm going to hit control A to select all. Now control V to copy the one from the website. And there it is. It's a lot smaller. So I'm just going to hit save and close. And now when I run kiss assist again, everything else will be filled out. I open it again and yes, there's everything else is now included. To find out what all these options do, click the Kiss Assist instruction manual. We've linked it here in the description. So now I'll do the same thing with who's next, uh, with my cleric. So I'm just going to go back to the Kiss Assist library where it says Shadow Knight. I'm just going to switch that to cleric and filter. Oh, and we have several options here. Toad Wart has one with conditions. That's pretty special. So I'm going to try uh, Toad Wart's here. That's good. So he gets into some fancy stuff, conditions, uh, which I'm not going to cover in this video, but if somebody's offering them, by all means, use them. So I'm going to hit copy to clipboard here. Now let's find my INI file for Rampum. That's my cleric's name. So I'm going to edit this. and I'm gonna paste the version I got from the website and hit save. All right, now I'm gonna repeat this for all my other characters. All right, now my little group is in game and they're all grouped up. So on each character, I'm gonna target my tank and type slash Mac kiss assist. Now I can do this with one command without switching windows. And if you want to do that too, you just have to watch the previous videos in this series. But for the sake of absolute newbies who are too lazy to watch all the other videos, on each character I'm going to target my tank, Bromwin, and type Mac, Kiss Assist. All right, next character. Whoever your character has targeted when starting Kiss Assist is who they are going to assist. You almost always want that to be the tank. And even on the tank, you want to target yourself when starting Kiss Assist. Now on my tank, Bromwin, I'm going to start Kiss Assist in manual mode. This starts Kiss Assist but with everything off, and you get to pick and choose what parts of Kiss you want to run. For me, I only want Kiss to handle buffs, so I'm going to type slash Buffs on, one word. If I wanted heals on, I would type slash heals on. If I wanted DPS, I'd type slash DPS on, etc. You can find a full list of commands in the description. I'm also going to turn off something called MQ2 Melee, 
We're probably going to disable this by default in the future because it's annoying and makes you stick to monsters and use his abilities when you really don't want it to. So on the tank you want to play manually, type slash plugin mq2 melee unload and hit enter. Now I am free to go and kick butt. All right, let's see how we do. All right, there's a giant. I'm going to pull that back to my group and hope for the best. All right, here he comes. Forgot where my group was there. There they are. Okay, keep in mind, I don't know how to play a Shadow Knight, so please do not laugh. All right, nothing's gonna stick to him, I bet. I'm just gonna taunt and hope for the best. When you're a gnome, giants are really, really huge. So it looks like my group is just gonna let me get beat up here. They're actually set to assist at different health percentages, so now that the Giants beat up a little bit, they're going to start jumping in. So far, it's looking good. So we got our Rogue in there. We got the Magician pet and the Magician. And let's see, our Magician has taken aggro. That is not good. I'm trying my best to get aggro off our Mage. comes heals from our cleric. I got aggro back. This is good. So far, so good. Really doesn't like our mage. <laughs> well, I'm not happy I can't keep aggro, but I'm really happy with how my group is doing. There's some things I need to work on, but as you can see, my little group just took down a red hill giant. Level 25s, taking down the level 30 something giant. I'm feeling pretty good. This is great. So we lucked out there with the configs we just found in the library, but keep in mind that no config is going to work for all situations. Earlier in this video, I showed you how to manually edit those level one config files, because later on you're going to need to edit config files in order to win some fights. This game is about strategy, so you'll need to switch out heals, buffs, equipment, everything in order to beat certain mobs. Running a full group is a juggling act, but when you get everyone working in harmony, it's one of the best gaming experiences you can have. The videos in this series are just an overview to get you in the game. The true power of all these tools are detailed in the resource pages on Red Guides and in the forums. If you need help with anything, just ask. And if you learn how to do something cool, please share it with us. Cheers everyone and have fun multiboxing.